first biker. No, don't go, don't go. Let's take a look inside the changing tank. Bruh. Oh. Yeah. We're gonna go exploring. We go try to find some dolphins, okay? Bro, we found the dolphin! <laughs> We found so many freaking dolphins. There are like five of them coming up to us, hanging out, like shoving their nose up on the thing. I touched one. Can you believe that? Wi-Fi at a freaking taco place. You got it. We were trying to get to the swim transition, but we got totally stuck. Millions of people in cars out here. Millions. Millions. And they're doing great. That's the first biker. Good job. Those wheels. Awesome. Good job. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> you can do it. We're on the bike course right now. There are some bikers coming right now. This could be me. If I had my bike, but it's not me. Cross, go! No, don't go, don't go! Look how cool the transition bags look from the bike to running. Holy crap, there's a lot of them. How do you even find your bag? They're in order by number. Duh, Harrison. Sorry. Duh. But if you're so tired, how are you supposed to count? And then all the worker bees, are they going to understand you when you're like, I'm number 1486? Okay. Let's take a look inside the changing tank. Dude, his name's Bra. Bra. We're headed back to the finish line. We're going to try to catch the first finisher. Wow, the finish line is super crowded. Let's see if we can find a spot to sneak into. Ivan oh, yes, right here. Exploring in a place called Chunkanab. It's the national park here. Um, anyways, this is where the swimming started today. And David and Harrison want to go swim with the dolphins that are in there. Um, let's see if they can do it. They won't let us in. Just start running. <laughs> <laughs> I would if I knew where to go, but the I don't know where to go. Go try to find some dolphins, okay? Have a good run. Bye. Bye. <laughs> So we couldn't get into the national park, so we parked a few, like probably a mile away from it, and they're gonna swim to it and see if they can go um, play with the dolphins. And I'm gonna go for a run, because I don't wanna play with dolphins today. You know what's scary? When you run around this curb right here, the car's coming, can't see you. Hopefully I don't have to jump out of the way. I'm running past Money Bar. So tempted to just stop and stay here and let them find me here. Harrison and David are not back yet. Should I go look for them? See if they're okay? Yeah, let's go do that. They're over there somewhere in the water playing with dolphins. Can y'all see the sun? It's setting so fast. Going, going. It's gone. Did you see how fast that happened? I see them coming, finally, they made it. I was thinking they might have gotten stuck in the net trying to play with the dolphins, but they're coming. Yep, you see those two specks back there? There they are. <laughs> I'm getting eaten alive, that's why I'm in here with the windows up. I was up. like, oh no, somebody stole their towels, dude. Did y'all find the dolphins? 
We totally found dolphins. We couldn't find them at first. We found this weird manatee. It was like really far back. Couldn't see through all the fencing. We swam around to the backside. We found so many freaking dolphins. There were like five of them coming up to us, hanging out, like shoving their nose up on the thing. I touched one. What were they doing? I was like, go what down, dolphin. Go down. And then I dove. I went down and he followed me and I played with him down there. I was like, eee, little dolphin, eh. I'll show you the videos. I'll show you the videos. The second they found us, all of them started coming. There was like first two or three came, and then you could see other ones were coming from further away, and they were just playing, and they were like, nah, -uh, you heard them. Yeah, I could hear them when we weren't even there yet. That's why I knew they were there. Aww. So we were like exploring, you could hear them. And then when you went like this, they would like copy you with their fins. And then I was like, go down. I'll play with you down there. And then this guy, apparently yelled at Harrison and finally I swam out I was like okay fine we'll go and then I started talking about this guy I was like what do you say anyways like what's he gonna do jump in after us and then Harrison's like right behind me I'm like what I'm like oh gracias <laughs> and there's this big fence and for some idiotic reason I thought maybe he was electrocuted <laughs> like it's underwater <laughs> we're gonna be electrocuted so like I was afraid to touch it until I saw David touch it <laughs> this place is called Los Utates Tacos y pizzoli. What the heck is a pizzoli? You know how I know that this is a legit taco place? Because they have freaking Wi-Fi here with a password over there on the wall. Can you believe that? Wi-Fi at a freaking taco place on the side of the street. It's kind of embarrassing and a little sad, but we all have our laptops with us. We all carried our little backpacks just in case in the off chance that a street side taco vendor would have Wi-Fi, 
We brought him. And it happened. There's Wi Fi. Let's surf, baby. Let's do it. We surfed and we were running. It was awesome. Remember when we went surfing and we were running? That was so much fun. We were freaking surfing. Who finds that on the side of the road? We did. We found it in Mexico. I don't know what chuleta is. I just know I always get chuleta. Pastor, of course, that's my favorite. That's what's hanging out on the front, you know, with the big fire on the side spinning. They just stack up pieces of pork and build it up on this spike and they turn the spike and just grill it all night long. So as it finishes, they chop it off, serve it, and then it's raw again. It cooks, repeat. It's so fundido. It's muy fundido. But freaking Mexican people around here like, what the hell's wrong with them? They're still going. You got it. He's like, no, I don't got it. You don't seem to understand. I'm in pain. We were trying to stay awake long enough to watch the last person cross at midnight, but I don't think we're going to make it. It's only 926. <laughs> They started running before, or swimming, before we woke up today, and they're gonna keep on going for a few hours after we fall asleep. But we're going to bed now. It's late. I'm gonna wake up early tomorrow to take pictures. The ones that I was supposed to do this morning, but I'm gonna do it tomorrow, for sure. <laughs> 